<clears throat> good morning, everyone. It's, it's good to see you. We were talking about um, new beginnings, spring, the equinox, <clears throat> and how in many ways it is the beginning of the new year when we see the buds and the energies of the earth um, emerging in the northern hemisphere and of course it's doing the opposite in the southern hemisphere things are quietening down and, and getting ready for their winter and today i thought because there's so much around <clears throat> the earth that we'll focus give a focus on the earth energy on the energy of being grounded rooted connected right down through the lines, the central line, the Shishuma, down into the earth. And it's particularly challenging in these days. There's so much uncertainty. There's so much ungroundedness. Um, the states have just brought out their new statistics on mental health. And particularly for young people, it's dropped dramatically, mental health suicide and it's not a wonder to me because as much as the society seems to get um be prosperous it's about the groundedness the rootedness belongingness and the meanings that we have around that so that's going to be our focus today so welcome to the class <clears throat> let's feel ourselves rooting down into our sitting bones. Feel ourselves supported by the earth. So if you're sitting on a chair, feel your feet grounded on the earth. If you're sitting as I am in easy pose, feel your tailbone connecting down to the earth. Allow yourself to be held safely by the ground beneath you. And notice your breath coming in and out. Unless we feel safe and connected, it's very hard to settle into a practice. dropping your shoulders, feeling your spine supporting you from behind, up, erect, shoulders back and down, chin gently tucked in. Let, letting the breath come right down to the base of your belly. And taking longer to breathe out than breathe in. And we can begin to imagine that square breath where we breathe in for four, up one line. Hold for four. Breathe out for four. And hold out for four. And keep that cycle, that rhythm going. The eternal rhythm of the pulse of life. Slowing down the breath. Calming the nervous system. Slowing down the mind. And notice yourself sinking down into the earth.
softening your face, eyes looking up to the brow point, coming home to your own body. Now see if you can lengthen your out breath, keeping four going on the two sides, breathing in for four, hold for four. Now breathe out for six and see if you can hold out for eight. Calming down the whole nervous complexity of our system. Dropping down into what is into the stillness and the quietness of being. Feeling down into the earth, the earth energy, <clears throat> which is one of the energetic uh, uh, tattvas, equanimity, balance, sense of everything counts, nothing is left out. And when out of balance, the earth element can be taken over by one quality, maybe too much giving to another aspect of the earth or creation. And feeling where there's an imbalance in your own body. On the out breath, as you're breathing out, release it. Maybe inability to say no. And before we know it, our field is filled with thistles. Coming back to the balance. And let us breathe in with our hands at the heart center now with an intention. <clears throat> Hold an intention for this class around the earth, about us belonging and being part of the natural earth system, being earthlings. And then notice where there is tension in this element for you. Might be that image of thistles or brambles. Where is the challenge of the balance for the earth to feel grounded, significant, that each of us matters to the ecology of the earth. And marrying the two intentions of being one with the earth and the tension of having to hold our space on earth. Just put them together, recognizing where the tension is held in your body. Now taking a deep breath in, and out, and in to begin. Om Namo Guru Deva Namo Om 
Breathe in. Suspend the breath and feel yourself grounded, rooted like a rock in the ground and release. I'm going to do a few warm ups, particularly around feeling grounded. So having our hands in front of us on the chair <clears throat> or on the floor. Just pressing down in front, stretching the spine up and out, chin gently tucked, pressing your hands into the ground and begin breathing deeply, feeling into the vibration of the earth. Long, deep breaths. Stay with this sensation in your hands particularly the palms, your fingers, your wrists. Feel the connection that we are one. We are not over, above, under. We are part of the earth energy. Pressing down, releasing your shoulders, pressing in and down. <clears throat> and move your hands if you're on the floor, but further forward, pressing in, feeling the stretch up the spine, everything connected in a world where we feel disconnected, where a lot of <clears throat> suicides are around feeling completely disconnected from this world <clears throat> and mental health. The more we feel connected and feel the pulse of the earth beneath us, we can find meaning in being on this extraordinary blue planet in amongst more than two trillion suns in our galaxy alone. We are on one planet. The only blue planet we know of. Moving even further forward if you can, stretching the spine, <clears throat> embracing the earth at this time of the solstice, where the vibration is one of growing, emerging. Feeling it right down into your pelvis, pressing down, feeling full weight of your body grounding. <clears throat> if you're on the floor, you can keep going forward you might be able to get your head right down. If not, you can go on your knees. That can be some easier. Feeling your forehead now. Touching. And if you're sitting on a chair, allowing yourself to stretch down until your head is beneath your heart. Letting the upper torso Pull you over and down. <clears throat> and coming back slowly, crawling back up to sitting upright. Again, staying centered down that central channel, channel down to Mother Earth. When we're born, you can see, imagine the baby is just very anxious, throwing itself around. It's not used to being on earth. It's used to being contained in the womb. And it's swaddled and held by the mother. Feeling yourself now swaddled and held by the earth. Placing one hand over to the opposite knee and the other hand behind you. Look over your shoulder, feeling that stretch. Long, deep breaths.
that which we cannot see behind our backs, that which is hidden from view, being able to trust that the earth can hold us. Just feel where you feel it. Last week we did work on tension of the shoulders and neck. This week we are releasing that tension down to the earth. Holding that twist for five more seconds. And release it, move to the other side. Notice how you're sitting, which sit bone you're sitting on, which part of your <clears throat> body is connecting to the earth. And release back to the center. <clears throat> Let's release our shoulders with some nice big circles. Sometimes we grow uh, too tall. And today we are focusing on dropping down into the root system. Unchanged direction, letting the shoulders drop down from the tense up position. <clears throat> Moving now into a Sufi grind. Allow the base of your spine to connect to the earth. Stay with the, the minute motion of what's happening in your body. The alertness of our instinctual energy. We think of how much of our instinctual energy we've kind of lost through the thinking brain. As we bring ourselves back to the natural world and the wisdom of instinctual energy. Feeling it down <clears throat> as you move from one sitting bone to the other and slowly widening your circle, trusting the rooting and the grounding into the earth. And you can let your whole upper body trust your lower body to hold you. <clears throat> For those of us that might have had insecure childhoods, it's very hard to move to, into a tr place of trust, of deeply trusting adults. And this is kept in our bodies as body memory, releasing it now as we trust ourselves to connect to that which we can trust. And changing directions. Notice what's happening in your metabolism. Are you feeling hot or cold? Follow your breath. <clears throat> Follow your body and your nervous system. How hard the earth is help trying to help us and yet how much damage we're doing as a collective to the earth. But still the radical love of this earth still goes on 
supplying oxygen, water, stability. <clears throat> Coming back to the center now. And we're going to stand up. <coughs> and move into just standing tree posture. So standing tall, straight, move your feet as if they're like roots in the earth, pummeling the whole foot from the front to the back, feeling into the nodes, into the energy points of your foot. And now standing with your feet a few inches apart. If you feel dizzy, don't do this. You can, well, you can do the first part of it, stretching up with our hands clasped like that, stretching up and stretching back, holding your grounding through your feet. Feel the balance going through the center so you're head is still over your feet. If that makes you feel dizzy, just come and stand straight. Now, coming back forward, reaching your hands round, reaching round through your auric field until your hands come onto your hips. Lifting one foot up, just dangling it, feeling if you might want to tap it on the ground, feeling your center of gravity going now down through one foot. You might need to keep a toe on the ground. And if you can, reach that foot up to your leg to stand. You may be able, might find it easier to have your hand arms out to balance you. And experiment with this posture, bringing your hands up above your head. Or, but whatever you do, try holding your balance. It's really hard. Keep your eyes open for this exercise, focusing on a far away point to hold your balance and change legs. Pummel a bit, hands on your hips. You'll find one leg is easier to stand on than the other. Just find your center of gravity. If you're able, put your foot onto your leg arms out to the side and above your heads pressing down with that foot like flamingos keeping your eye on the far horizon now bringing them down again we're going to, again, hold onto the ground by <clears throat> doing an archer pose, which we haven't done for a bit. So one foot in front, facing forward. The other is at right angles like that. The leg that's in front, the arm goes out, and you face looking at your thumb with your fingers scrunched up. The other hand is going to Pull a bow, so you're opening the heart center. Looking through the eye of the thumb, you're going to lean into that knee as much as you can, looking towards the horizon, all the time feeling the tension over the heart center. But more than anything, feel yourself grounded into the earth. You might want to do it dynamically, which is moving backwards and forwards. Dropping your shoulders down. Uh, 
And then when you're comfortable, just lean into the posture. Let your body settle, dropping your shoulders, holding the tension of the bow. And then release. Moving around to the other side, we're going to do the same thing. <clears throat> the other foot forward. The, the foot that's forward, the arm goes out with your thumb up, scrunching your fingers. Pull your bow, looking forward, opening your chest. Might want to dynamically move. until you can comfortably hold a position, feeling the tension that we have on earth. The whole of creation feels this tension as bulbs push up through the ground, reaching for the light. So that's what we do, always the tension of pushing upwards towards the light and the roots go down and release the bow. Moving your legs now, <clears throat> hands out to the side like in a star. Just hold that position a bit. And when you're ready, we're going to move into a windmill so one hand goes down the opposite hand goes down towards the other leg hold that position twisting the body feeling into the heels and coming up and down to the other side and just keep going at your own rhythm is very good for the bowels you think of the bowels of the earth <clears throat> compost of how the alchemy happens in the recycling process of the earth Keeping your eyes open, looking up behind you as you twist your whole torso over. Gently stretching the whole of the torso in the middle, the intestines. Using the breath to power you. Last few. Last one. <laughs> and slowly bend your knees, coming back up to standing. <clears throat> Again, balance yourself. Hands out to the side again. And we're going to stretch over, feeling the stretch up one side. Hold a few breaths here, and then come back and over to the other side. And 
making you comfortable. Use your breath to power you, coming to the center on the in-breath and breathing out as you go over. Breathing in to the center and then out. Energetically connecting the earth to the sun and our bodies to both. But with a focus going down into the ground, into the earth. The grounding earth energy. We come from the earth and we return to the earth. Last one. Again, coming back to the center, <clears throat> we're going to twist round to the center and then round to the other side, both arms. Keeping your eyes open the whole time to keep your balance. Breathing into the center and out to each side. Coming to the center, slowly allow your body to drop, just dropping your head beneath your heart and swing your arms like an elephant's trunk, feeling the energy being, again, being drawn down to the earth. You might be able to drop a little bit lower. Let's see how your body, how the center of gravity can hold you. Feeling the life nerve stretch going up your legs. And slowly bend your knees, coming back up. And then coming down to sitting. And let those energies settle in your body. Feeling your shoulders heavy and dropped. Your sitting bones drop down. your fingers in Gyan Mudra, so everything is connected 
through the earth element down. Trusting the gravitational force of earth to hold you. There'll be a time when we leave the earth and gravity will have no more influence on us. But as long as we live our lives here on earth, we need to connect to that sound of the ma, the mother ship, mother earth. Letting the energy now flowing up through a spinal flex, moving forward and back. Snaking the spine up and back, forward. Let your shoulders come back and then slumping into our worst posture. Feeling that double helix of the DNA strands coming up through the central channel. We've spent millions of years evolving into the form we take today to be human with a capacity to choose whether we love or not don't love. The ability to choose to connect and the ability to choose that we can leave and make a difference on this earth. Feeling those energies coming up and down the spine, infinite energy. <clears throat> Moving your hands over to your knees to get an even better stretch. Coming to the center, tensing up on the in-breath, holding the breath, tensing every muscle. It's as if we're trying to lift our bums off the earth. It's so hard. It can only hold it for a bit and then release back down into the earth. And again, breathe in, tense, feel the tension. And release back down. And last time, breathing in, feeling the tension, and releasing. <clears throat> and we're going to spend a few moments just completely relaxed. You may want to lie down to play some music, or you may want to just stay seated. But stay very present to yourself. Feeling swaddled and safe on this planet.
And slowly bring yourself back from that lovely rhythm of the earth. Hum dum hara hara. Hara hara hum dum. Hara is that earthing energy of God. And the hum dum is the infinite in the infinite cycle of living on earth. The cycles of being born and dying and living. Of plants emerging from the soil and releasing. So we're going to continue that mantra and we're going to consciously for the last few minutes um, use it. So you're going to project your voice, the nard, from the fifth chakra. Your hands just open on the knees and allow yourself to sing it and feel the vibrationary force of that grounding energy. On every hara hara, pull in your navel point a bit. Pull in, pull in.
and take a breath in, allowing the vibration of the earth to connect with your body, feeling grounded, rooted, present, holding your space here on earth. And we'll end, we'll sing the long time sun for those who know it, twice, and then three satnams. So let's breathe in to begin. May the long time sun shine upon us. All love surround us. And that pure light within us guide our way on. May the long time sun shine upon us, all love surround us. And that pure light within us guide our way on, guide our way on. No. So. No. And take a bow to that great truth within that which is our guide on this earth, grounding us, leading us, holding us, nurturing us, and creating a sense of safety in a very unstable world at the moment. Satnam.